Hello, so it's time for me to get off my fat lazy ass and record a video, and I kind of wanted to do something like this. Basically, I have a lot of songs now. I remember uh, a couple months back I made a video called um, Listening to All My Songs or something like that. It'll be linked in the description in case you're looking at that video. I don't think it's really worth it because this one's just going to be a bit way better, but just in case you actually want to go see how different that one is going to be uh, compared to this one you're about to watch now. Uh, I'm going to be going over every single song that I've made, and I'm going to mention if there's anything I'd change about them. I'm going to be giving my opinions on them, how I personally feel about them. So, obviously, right, There's I'm going to go to SoundCloud first, because I on SoundCloud, um, I have a lot of my older ones on there that I never deleted. Oh, hello. Hello. Get out of here. I don't care. Anyway, so we're going to scroll to the way bottom of the page here. Now, here's some stuff. I don't have this on Band Labs anymore. I privated this on YouTube, or I think I deleted this one. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to start off with the original. I'm just going to skip to, like, right here. In my opinion, this is the worst song I've ever made, honestly. It is so bad. I didn't write lyrics down. It was literally my first attempt, and I just wanted to immediately release something. Like, I'm getting into the music scene, yay. But, oh, boy, was it trash. So, anyway. Um... Actual dog shit. <laughs> Actual dog shit. So what would I do when it comes to um, changing this? I would have just completely deleted it from the earth and nobody should ever witness it. But the reason I'm keeping it on SoundCloud and SoundCloud only is because it shows where I started. And by the way, yes, I had those little diss track battles. If you go back and look at the 20, uh, 23 video I made off of the same topic here. Um, I had some diss track battles back in 2020, but those were just for fun. And I do not consider them legitimate music on my part. It was just really bad and really trash. Anyway, just like me is garbage. I don't think it should be here. And I'm, I find it very unfortunate. That's my first song where I actually tried to put effort into music. Unfortunately, it's my most popular song on SoundCloud because my SoundCloud shit never blows up, but it's fine. It's whatever. Uh, next up is I don't care, which um, let's give that a listen. Talking to you, not even listen to me. And every time when they tell that I'm not okay, do they even care to ask me what I'm doing if I'm fine? Honestly, I'm out of time. Honestly, I keep living up and I'm fucked up out of my mind. Every day I'm talking out of my head. I'm ripping all my hair out and I feel like I am dead. And maybe they don't care. They don't want to live. What was that shitty attempt at a vocal chop? I don't even know. Um... When it comes to I don't care, I don't think it's the worst. I think it's low tier when it comes to my music. Honestly, I would recreate the whole song if I had the opportunity to. And I might I might actually like go back and recreate it, but I don't know. I don't know if it's even really worth doing that. But it's not tragically bad. It's tolerable to listen to. And even there's a part where I'm a little okay with it. I think it's like... I think it's like right here, yeah. Like, honestly, that's like the only really, really decent part of the song. I just like that little flow change I did there. Uh, but yeah, I would change up this whole song. I would try to recreate it, honestly. Uh, next up is Broken, which is uh, actually on YouTube and even on Band Labs. Um, let's give it a listen. Hey, really trying my best. Fuck me, I can never leave this. Every part of my life is broken in the pieces. So hold me, let me feel safe in a world that's decaying and it's just my thing. I don't know. I think the uh, the verse here is tolerable. It's not great. Honestly, I think I really do need to recreate Broken or just completely change it altogether. 
Uh, Broken isn't great, but out of the first like four hyper pop songs that I made, I think Broken is the most tolerable out of all of them. And we're going to be moving on to my second least favorite in a second here. But uh, if I could change anything about Broken, I would definitely change up the chorus. I think the chorus sounds um, pretty shitty to me. Uh, like um, this, it, it, you can even tell for a second. It's a little off sync here. Maybe not too off sync, but I feel like I could have moved it up a little bit more. And I could have made it sound a little bit better, but that's just me personally. Now on to one of the worst songs I've ever made as well. Just as bad as Just Like You. A liar, a thief, a bitch. I hate this song. I actually fucking hate this song. What was that sync? Hold up. I never thought he. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking when I made that. Um, personally, I think this song could be saved though. I just have to find the beat by uh, CM Spark again. But this whole song needs redone. <laughs> what? There's just a big ass open gap of instrumental here. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Just the whole song needs rebooted. This whole thing is garbage, but I'm not going to delete it because it's here to stay. Now we got problems, right? The original problems. One of the first tracks I actually felt truly proud of. Although I will move on to something when it comes to problems later. Just bear with me. Honestly, it's one of my personal favorite choruses, so I think the chorus is perfectly fine. But what would I change about problems, you ask? The whole verse from after the first chorus to the second. Throw that shit away and let me change it. I did. But we're not going to get into that in, for a little bit. There's no cuts in this video, by the way. So if you don't like something, just skip ahead. I really don't give a shit at this point. But this is the verse. It is so bad. <laughs> Can't fall apart into the abyss where honestly it is really dark. Dark thoughts have taken over me. And truthfully, it's getting hard to sleep. And I had a toast and turn, and then I bang my head against the wall, hoping to make the drywall fall. I don't know. I just actually, I guess the verse isn't as bad as I was just saying it was, but I still think it's a really mid verse. And I think I did it justice later on. Now we got it's suicide. Uh, basically, by the way, before we move on that it's suicide, uh, when it comes to problems, I would just change the first verse, which once again, I did, but we'll get to that. Skip ahead. If you don't want to actually like watch the rest, I don't really care. Uh, it's suicide. Oh boy. <laughs> Another step right off the ledge tonight The pain is on my chest is fucking endless It's time to end the story of mine tonight It's fucking do or die Put the fucking blades on my neck tonight I fucking had enough This life is way too much Ew. <laughs> oh God. I like how I went from problems, which I actually find decent for an older song. It's not even that old. It's literally like two to three months. Wait, what? Two months ago. It's January. 
Oh, it's about to be three months because I posted it in October. But still, like, Problems is decent. How did I go from Problems to It's Suicide? And the chorus is just so terrible. So ass. Which I also fixed. We'll get to that, though. But I do think the part after the main part here, the main chorus, right? Um, I think the verse is tolerable. Feeling so weak and I'm out of touch with reality I can't breathe and I'm fucking sick of talking honestly I'm sick and you're not even helping I don't know I think it's tolerable so basically what I would change from the older version of it's suicide is I would just change the chorus which we'll get to I did now we got oh my god out of my way oh dear god god you better go and get out of my way Personally, what I would change about Oh My God Out of My Way is I would try to make it less repetitive. It is an extremely repetitive song where I literally say Oh My God Out of My Way a million fucking times. It is so repetitive, it actually is sad. It, it felt like it was super, like, not very creative of money. Money? Not very creative of me. But it is only a minute and 27 seconds and I got it off of a Glaive Paparazzi type beat. Moving on, we're fine. Honestly, hello copyright. Welcome back to the channel since somebody copyrighted the beat for this. Um, I don't really care though. Every time we take a step, we get closer out of life. This time, please hear me out. I know what to say. Baby, we're fine. Every single step we take, we'll make it out of life tonight. Please hear me out. I know what to say. Oh yeah, just a big fucking, <laughs> just a big fucking gap where I don't say anything again. Oh my god. Baby, we're fine. Please sit next to me. <laughs> I just love that there's just a big fucking empty gap. But anyway, We're Fine was one of my better ones that came out. Even my little uh, sibling, uh, Laura, agrees that this is one of my better ones. Um, What I would change about We're Fine, though is one, I would get rid of D-Delay. In case you don't know what D-Delay is, I use this little Hyperpop, uh, Hyperpop um, preset on Band Labs, and D-Delay is a thing that's on, and it causes an echo effect. I would get rid of that completely, because I feel like it does not do this song justice. Um, the second thing I would remove is this giant fucking gap where I say nothing. I have to add something there. But that's pretty much it. Other than that, we're fine is just fine. How ironic. Anyway, we got Two Face next. You don't wanna test me, I'm untouchable. You don't wanna fuck with me, get it in your head. You heard what I said. Fuck you, Two Face bitch, yeah, I'm done with that. Get it in your head, I ain't never coming back. Fuck you, Two Face bitch, I ain't coming back. Get it in your head that I'm fucking done with that. I don't give a fuck about what you tell me. All right, so what I would change about Two Faced is I would just make the the volume of the uh, instrumental a little lower, because I'm not gonna lie, with my headphones on, I don't know if it's the same for anyone else. Maybe it's just the quality of my headphones, but I have decent headphones, so I don't think it's that. But I feel like the volume of the instrumental is just way too fucking loud. Like I could barely hear what I said. Luckily, I know exactly what I wrote down, so I know what I said. But it's just a little sad. But even Wistful said it was one of the better ones. So, okay, moving on. Seething. I don't remember much about Seething. I actually deleted it off of Band Labs and haven't listened to it in literally like two months.
is the wait a minute. On, okay, I, I do remember this song quite a bit. Uh, basically, what I would change about this is all I would really do is just remove D delay. I think it's fine. I don't think there's much that needs changed about seething. Uh, lie. Um, I've been told by, uh, once again, my little sibling, Laura, that this is one of the worst songs I've ever made. Now, I don't agree with that, but I will agree it's a tad bit boring. So I guess if I were to change anything, I would try to make it more interesting, but that's about it. Um, then we got Fly. I was really proud of this one. I remember that quite well. I give a fuck about who they be. I don't know. I think fly is pretty solid when it comes to my uh, songs that I made on my phone. Um, if I were to change anything about fly though, like I said, I would just literally remove D delay and that's it. Now we got love is fucked up. Honestly, my throat is so fucking dry right now, but if I were to change anything about Love is Fucked Up, I would change the chorus of it. I feel like the chorus isn't good enough, at least for my standards, but that's also because I've come a long way since I've actually made Love is Fucked Up, and once again, I would remove D-Delay. D-Delay does not do this song justice at all. Now we got No More. Okay, when it comes to No More, honestly, what I would do is when it comes to the chorus, right, this little part that had the, the heavy dubstep in it, 
I would try to add some chop effects to it because I think that would make it go really fucking hard. But maybe that's just me. And once again, I'd probably remove D-Delay. But I don't know. D-Delay doesn't sound too intolerable in this one. But So it's, it's a slight thought, but it's nothing too strong. Now we got Bug in My Shoe. This is when I started making music on my computer again. Uh, Bug in My Shoe was a pretty decent one, actually. They don't want to tell me what it's like another day. Maybe I'm a fade away. They don't want to see these fucking silly things. Always in my head again. I don't even care if we're enemies on another plane. I don't even care about this anymore. You broke my heart and you dropped me to the floor. I thought you were someone that I could adore. Like I said, I think Bug in My Shoe is fairly solid, but I'm also going back to Band Labs because this is where I can do a few extra things to show you guys some unreleased stuff as well. Because uh, if you go under here, uh, pretty much right when we get to um, Bug in My Shoe, which is supposed to be here, but it's not, uh, I pretty much removed a shit ton of songs. By the way, uh, we're going to look at this because like I said, I'm, I'm counting unreleased projects for this as well, so... I don't remember what this is. It's three minutes and 48 seconds though, so. Let's tell you something, something that I never knew. Maybe a problem with me. Maybe a problem with you. I'm upset. Stuck in my bedroom again. Dealing with all of these thoughts. I can't even play pretend. I'm done with that. I swear I'm done with that. And every time I take those steps, I feel a heart attack. This pain in my chest makes me feel like I'm losing my sanity. I can see why I didn't finish that. One, I do not like how the microphone quality of my older microphone sounds on this. And D-Delay sounds like garbage here. Oh my God. But I could possibly recreate it and resurrect it, but I'm not too sure. I'm not sure. Not only that, I don't remember where the beat was for this. And I would need to find the beat again in order to put prod and then the, the beat creators in the title. That way I'm not like using someone's stuff without acknowledging them. So yeah, there's that, but uh, next up, uh, we're going to do, um, we already did that, Bug in My Shoe. Uh, never Really Bothered Me came after Bug in My Shoe. We going round and round and round, stuck in circles now, and I don't even give a fuck if I'm falling down, for a minute I don't play around. It's a very short one, but I can I can see I, I came back later and I removed D-Delay from this. I think this song is perfectly fine the way it is. That's just me, though. That's just me. Uh, next up, I guess we're just going to go in order now. Um, we're going to look at DFWM, which means don't fuck with me. Uh, this was supposed to be a collab with me, my buddy Adam, and me, my buddy Malachi, but we never did anything with it, so... I don't even know what's going to happen with this. I don't remember what it sounds like. MTCB. First, second, third on the bass. Put my fucking knuckles right into your face. Try to fuck with me, that's going to be a cold case. Try to set to me, you ain't going to have a good day. I don't even really give a fuck who you be. Try to set to me and I'll make you see. Step of the way I'm losing my time. Stupid motherfuckers always saying maybe relevant. 
this is never getting finished. <laughs> There's a few things I can tell why this is not going to be finished. One, the tags and the B are annoying as fuck. Oh my God. If I had to listen to the whole thing and I heard that tag three to four times, I'd probably put my fucking brain out of its misery. Not only that, D delay sounds like garbage. And not only that, it was made in November and Malachi and, haven't, and Adam haven't really done anything with it. So it's probably just a dead project. So keep it locked up where it deserves to go. Next up is Pop Off. Uh, this one was actually released. It is on JDS right now, my YouTube channel. Play around, I ain't gonna stick around, dealing with me. Pop off, I don't even care now. I'ma leave you slain now, I can guarantee. Don't wanna try to step to me. Bitch, I ain't your enemy. Try to tell me that you see it the way I do. But you're not to like me, so fuck you too. Why you always trying to bother me? I deal with shit you throw at me. You're always in my head, trying to try me dead. I don't know what you said. I think the whole verse is dope as fuck with this song. But if I had to change anything, right, I would make the the vocal chops and the chorus sound better. Cause like if you listen, gonna stick around, with me. that sounds like shit. I don't know. That could just be me, but I think it sounds like shit. I I could definitely do better vocal chops and um, probably make a better chorus. But not, not only that, the first thirty seconds is just. No vocals whatsoever. <laughs> so I would add something in the introduction, maybe like some ad libs, maybe something. But uh, I, I'd change up the chorus a little bit. Definitely try to make better vocal chops. And uh, the verse is completely fine. I think the verse is fire. Where do we go from here? I just can't really tell. God, you really suck. Man, I've had enough. Yeah, I really like the verse. I think the verse is the best part of this whole song, honestly. After that, we got um, Without You. Oh, this one was good. I was really proud of this. This is my first non-hyperpop one from 2023, too, so. We're going to skip to a minute, by the way. I've always struggled with some problems. Always had a lot on my plate. Not much else I can say. Except medications trying to stimulate my brain. When I was a young kid, I was such a dumb kid. Always got in trouble a lot. I was rambunctious. Then I got abused. Didn't make the news. So I tried to hang myself from a news. I was like, what? Really proud of how this came out. Not only that, I spoke about past experiences within the song. If I could change anything about this, I wouldn't. I think this song is perfectly fine the way it is. Without You is by far A-OK -okay with me. Next up, we got Use Me for Everything. I This was one I was going to release, but I don't know why I stopped working on it. Let me see if I can remember anything about this. Who are you to judge me for me? But I know that I'm not going to fight back at all. God, I'm sick of talking. All you do is use me for everything. I can't blink. That's all I added. Um, I like how that sounds. I didn't remember much about this, but I like how that sounds. I might come back and finish this in the future. In the future. But um, I'd have to find the beat again, which I'm sure wouldn't be that problem. Because I know for sure it's a Juice World type beat that I do remember about this. And I would love to finish this because I really like how it sounds, but that's just me. Next up, uh, we got Beautiful, which is um, my second most popular song. And my buddy, Mr. Crispy, released it on his Spotify, too. So it's actually on Spotify right now. It's feel pain. Everything in my life is beautiful. Keep trying. Life's just too beautiful to let go. 
I think Mr. Crispy's verse is completely fine. I'm not going to be like saying I'd change anything about any features I've had or if I was a feature on any song. Well, actually, I, I can talk about if I was a feature on any song. I was a feature on one song, and that's not released yet, so I'm probably not going to show any of it in this video out of respect for my boy, Mr. Crispy. But basically, if I could change anything about this, if we go here, right? More pain and agony, no shame. Serotonin is going into my brain. Wait a minute. Leaves are falling and everything is beautiful and there's no sign of rain. No. Do y'all hear that? Listen when the line stops. Listen when I stop singing for a second. Does it sound like it clips out? It's beautiful and there's no sign of rain. No more pain and agony, no shame. Say yeah, if I could fix anything about beautiful, it would be redo the whole intro because there's like a bunch of things where I guess I hit the stop button when I was recording the lines. I hit it too early, so it sounds like there's like a little clip at the end of it and I just randomly cut off. I would fix that. But other than that, beautiful is fine. And everyone seems to like it, so hey, it's whatever. Uh, next up is It's Suicide V2. Ah, yes. Basically, earlier I talked about It's Suicide, but this is the remake of it. I just redid the, the, the chorus and I think everything else is fine. I also changed the pitch slightly. <laughs> Suicide. Another step right off the ledge tonight. The pain inside my chest is fucking endless. It's time to end the story of mine tonight. It's fucking do or die. Put the fucking blades in my neck tonight. I fucking had enough. This life is way too much. Yeah. I, I this pretty much fixed the issue I had with it's suicide, so I don't, I don't even really need to say anything. But we listened to it anyway. We did, because it is what it is. Next up, we got dying. Uh, one of my favorites from the album that I made. Once again, not going to say anything about Mr. Crispy's verse, even though I think he did a pretty solid job. But if I could fix anything about dying, I wouldn't. I think dying is perfectly fine the way it is. Once again, I think it's a perfectly balanced track in my personal opinion. Next up is Stupid. Oh my God. <laughs> I hate this song. I hate it. On another day, put it on a line again. It is just another game. All I really got to say, shit's really hit the fan. I feel like a different man. I'm always stupid, produced intelligence, a million elephants. I if I could fix anything about this, I'd delete it. <laughs> I would remove it from the internet at once. <laughs> so bad. Next up, we got Whatever Goes Around Comes Back Around with Kaida Catnip. I was pretty proud of this one when it came out. Do you not understand? I don't want you as my man. I don't have no plans to ever take you back And I don't ever really want to see your face again If I ever see you, I'll break again And I don't even care if you come around I'll be the one to tear and to take you down I'll be the one to stand and to take the crown Whatever comes around goes back So, if I could fix anything about this, I would just remove my part from the verse and leave it just the Kaida Catnip so she had a longer verse where it feels like it was more focused on her, personally, but that's just me. That's all I'd fix for that one. Uh, 
We got Fastlane. Oh my God. <laughs> Fastlane's an interesting one. Cause I remember when I was making, it, I said, dude, this is so fucking good. This is so good. Then I listened to it a couple months later, or about a month later. And I kind of realized it's not as good as I thought it was. <laughs> I'll be stuck beside you, but you never even know Stuck up in the fast lane, but that's just how it goes You never heard this melody, honestly it flows That's just the way it is, so just let it go I'll be stuck beside you, but you never even know Stuck up in the fast lane, but that's just how it goes You never heard this melody, honestly that is a big thing I'd change. That one fucking line in the chorus. You never heard this melody. Honestly, it flows. I want something more creative than that. That's garbage. I hate that fucking line. I don't know why I wrote that down, but I did, and it ruined the song for me. But we got more. Honestly, it flows. That's just the way it is. So just let it go. I'll be stuck up in my head almost every day. All these feelings feeling real. That's just how it plays. It don't bother if y'all judge me. That's just what I say. It's not even a problem if y'all choose to stay. Y'all don't even bother me, hun, any day. I know what I do, bitches, tell me slay. It's okay, fuck them all every day. You ain't on my conscious, bitch, and that's how I feel today. Y'all don't even bother me. Y'all are my property. Bitch, y'all can't compare to me. That's because I run this monopoly. I also changed that, the I run this Monopoly line. I feel like I, it sounds like I'm trying to take a shit while I'm trying to sing. That ruins it for me too. But overall, the verse is fine. The majority of the chorus is fine. I would just change a few lines and I would change how I said the Monopoly line. That's all I'd change for Fastlane. Uh, next up, we got Better Than You. This song is not on YouTube. I did not share it on YouTube. I actually plan on sharing it later, but it's just currently on Band Labs right now. I think I might have shared it on SoundCloud, but I don't remember. This is actually the first song I made with this microphone that I'm using right here, so. You don't really know much, do you? You don't even know what I do. You don't try to see me. Fuck you, I'm always doing better than you. Everything that I do, I do it because I stand up so hella better than you. You are such an idiot who has no clue. So if I could change anything about this song, all I would do is I would, um, I would use my, uh, I don't know where it went, but I didn't use a pop filter. So there's like a few lines where when I used a puh sound, it sounds like a really annoying pop. Uh, I would just fix that overall. It's, it's a mediocre song. It was just kind of like an attempt. I wanted to hurry up and rush a song with my new microphone and I got that. So that's whatever. Um, next up. Fade, in my opinion, one of my favorites that I've made. I was very happy with this. I was really happy with this. Because you're ugly. Like we were never meant to die. But now time has ticked by. And we got older and we realized. One day we're gonna die. I feel like I became a madman. I woke up and I don't know what's happening. Yeah, my memory starts to fade. Oh, hey. yeah, now I'm on trying to run away to a safer and better place where I'll be okay. I really like how this one came out. I would not change a thing about it. I love this song to death. This song is my baby right here. That is right. Uh, next up, we're not listening to this. This is literally just bugging my shoe with a pitch increase, and it sounds more... No, no, we'll listen to it. We'll listen to it. Fuck it. We'll just... Just for shits and giggles, right? Hey, baby, I'm a fadeaway. They don't want in my head again. I don't even care for enemies on another plane. Eh, 
<laughs> it's just whatever, whatever. I, I don't got much to say. Now, this is coming out pretty soon. I want to release this on YouTube, but I'm just going to share a snippet of it. Basically, the issues that I had with the original problems, I fixed. But I also added a lot more enthusiasm when it comes to the vocals. So, yeah. Maybe if I don't lie, if I were to die. I got too much on my mind for me to bear. It would be better if you can. Got too much in on my chest and I'm scared. I'm scared. I got too much on my mind for me to bear. It would be better if you can. Got too much in on my chest and I'm scared. I'm scared. Falling into pieces every time that I step in a note that I can't recollect every memory we've had because I do forget. I don't know what else I can do. My mind's falling shaped into two. Yeah, basically, I just changed up the, the whole verse here and I added a lot more enthusiasm to the lyrics. So I'm pretty proud of that. That's a remake of Problems. It was pretty solid to me. Uh, the Christmas song that I released uh, in 2023. With Kaida Catnip. Yes, Christmas is that time of the year. Everyone gathers on his day, sing and cheer. But that don't matter much to me, I fear. It only matters if you're truly here. Yeah, I really want you by my side until the cold goes and we feel alive. I want to feel your warm embrace. So hold on to me. I won't let go until another day So kiss me under the mistletoe For Christmas I'll never let oh, you go Just like a Christmas little love song that I made with Kaida Catnip She did a pretty damn good job on her verse too Like it was pretty solid just like Mr. Crispy and the rest of them If I could change anything about this though The only thing I'd really change is if you listen to the beginning right? Christmas is that time of the year Everyone gathers on his day sing and cheer Basically, there's like an undertone that I added, like a second vocal layer. But if I were to raise the volume on that, the autotune was having a fucking stroke. I swear. So I would just remove that altogether. But it's fine. It's whatever. It's there. It's here to stay. And as long as it's quiet, it's not too noticeable. Next up is a song that I would not change a thing for. This song is perfection at its finest. Like I said, Fade was my baby. This is my baby too. I consider them both in the same boat. I would not change a thing about this song. I'll call the devil and not tell him my name. I don't give a shit. I will play his game. Meet the ring later. Maybe I'll fade away. Sorry, where my name won't be remembered on the outside it's something new every time that i look at you i feel slight paranoia my head's fucked up and you destroyed it yeah i would not change a thing about devil's game this song is on top like when it comes to the fade i feel like the meaning of it is a lot better it has the best meaning wise because it's about dementia and it's also inspired by break-ins but i also do think it's a lot better for a casual listener if you're into like hyper pop hyper pop devil's game might actually be for you now this is an unreleased song i have yet to release i do plan on releasing it just i need to do some fixes and i need to just keep working on it every time i see the sight of you Life is just a lullaby for good advice. I feel so ill, so nauseous. My head feels like it's tilted into another direction. On which way I'll go die? It's too or die, or I'll give no fucks on 
I'm giving it up, my soul, my touch. Is it worth giving up? I don't understand. I don't I don't know. I really like how this sounds. I do need to fix something in one of the earlier lines because I don't like the way I said something. And I have to fix some lines here, but I gotta just add. I think I did I add the second chorus yet? So nauseous, my head feels like it's still oh, I added an undertone. What? Direction, did I fix it? Where nobody cares about me, and I don't really care because I lost my sanity. I did I finish it? What? What else I can do every time that I see you? Oh. Oh, yeah basically i just got to finish this little part here um i could obviously tell when i was making this like less than no it was a little bit over 10 days ago but i could tell from when i was making this i was rushing that part and i didn't write down lyrics i just said what was ever in my head and i said it in a tone to where the autotune was having a stroke at parts because uh basically if you listen right every time that i see you like the every time that I see you, like it's, I hate that. But if I can fix this, this will be released pretty soon. And I'm hoping that goes out quite nice. Cause I didn't know I finished it, honestly. It's not finished. Cause like I said, I got to fix it, but it's solid monster. Um, very hyper pop -ish. And I also used a higher pitch vocal tone tone for this. Like I didn't use a pitch increase or anything. I literally just raised my vocals like i tried to sound like a kid and i don't give a fuck about shit that you said i'm gonna turn cold one day turn red i'm feeling like a monster slowly turning and creeping and slowly devoting my life into destroying you i am only giving no fucks i'm turning and i'm cold man yeah i'm cold and i don't give a fuck about you i'ma push you inside of a hole where you will die one day real slowly i don't care if you think that you're holy I'm a monster, I don't know, I'm a fucking monster I'm a beat, I wanna kill you slow I'm a monster, bitch, and you better fucking know I'm a monster, yeah, I'm a monster, yeah I'm... You can escape from me Yeah, I don't know I like how Monster came out If I could change anything about it, though What would I change about this? <laughs> Fuck a bitch, I'm a monster Keeping and slowly devoting my life into destroying you I am I guess I would have wrote down my lyrics a little bit better because honestly, what I did for this, I think it came out fine and the lyrics were just decent enough to be like listenable. Like if you listen to it, you're like, okay, it's, 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 it's pretty solid. It's pretty good. But if I could change anything, I would have wrote down more lyrics and I would have tried to change it up a little bit because I literally was like saying lines off the top of my head and I would keep repeating it until I eventually found a line that I said, oh, that sounds good. And then I'd write it down and there we go. I'd have my lyrics. So I was literally saying my lyrics and then writing them down when I thought it fit perfectly. So if I could have put a little bit more effort into that, I think Monster would have been a, a show stealer when it comes to my music. Now this one, uh, like I said, we're not playing Pull Up. This song is unreleased and it's Mr. Crispy's song. But I have a rap verse on this and uh, I should probably fix that because it's not great. But that's subjective. I think I could do better. But Now this one, what is this? I've literally done nothing here. So that's just a beat I saved. But I do remember this one. I do remember this one quite well. Um, I only did like one part though. Only a few lines. So you're not going to get much out of this. I'm going to take you down. Take you from the top now. Grab your fucking throat and I'm going to leave you dead and drop down. Now you scream out loud. Trying to cause a fucking crowd. But all they going to do is watch you drown out. Yeah, that's all I got for that. I don't know if I'm going to finish this or not. I literally haven't worked on it since December, so this one might be a dead project. Might be. Uh, we got The Day I Almost Died. I don't. I didn't release this on YouTube. It was, it was made about a week ago. I do want to release it on YouTube eventually, though. Yeah, 
Yeah, I remember back when I was a dumb kid Always doing shit and eventually left caved in I lost my family in those harsh memories The day that I couldn't breathe I swear to God it was a mistake I truthfully didn't mean to hang In a row for far too long That was the day I almost died You cried And you say you love me, bitch, you lied You turn your back on me for a fake family And turn me to the other side when I was a kid, I used to be like, I used to want to die, but then I realized life was... The only thing I'd change about this is the end, is the beginning vocals. I just don't feel like they mix well with it. Yeah, I remember back when I was a dumb kid. Like, I want to go for more of a monotone approach. That's what I would fix with this. But every, other than that, the song, it's just fine. It's whatever. The Smile Virus. Ah, yes. My most popular song. I uploaded this on this channel. Has over a thousand views. Thank y'all for the support on that, by the way. But I was really proud of how this came out. Only thing I didn't like about it, right? Is I didn't use a fucking pop filter. So you can hear the cricks, the little the little uh, pops and stuff from when I'm from my vocals. But I just kind of imagine it like you imagine it like the sound of bones breaking and like your body mutating kind of like it. So I just kind of left it in and said whatever. But I would have add a used a pop filter. Started to lose every sign of the pony I knew. I get curiosity, got the best of you. Now you got bitten off, close your flesh from you. Your eyes turn black, you turn cold like a corpse. The smile virus consumed you. You aren't you anymore. You aren't you anymore. No, you got bit on the hoof, and the virus to prove that it will slowly take over you. And it hurts so fucking bad. Yeah, I would have just used a pop filter, honestly. But I was lazy and I couldn't find it. Now we got my most recent release on YouTube. I made it. I think it came out quite well. Yeah, I made it. Set a place for you hard. I travel far. So far. Yeah, I made it, baby. Everything's cold on the outside. I'm just glad you're safe. I want you to survive. My original thought when I created this song was I wanted to make a song that kind of felt like a... How do I... What is the word I'm looking for, right? Like it's something that takes place after the smile virus and someone that I care about made it through to a safe place and eventually I fought through hell and I got to that. That was my original intention with this. But I kind of just made it kind of like I made it somewhere safe and like the world's dying or blah, blah, blah. And that's it. We're safe where we will reside. But my favorite part of this whole song, I think it's this right here. Yeah, my head is twisted and I'm falling out of place. I don't even know what the fuck to say because I am feeling not okay. Yeah, paranoia hits and I feel like a fade. And I just fear I won't meet you there. It's just hard to say. Yeah, it's just hard to say. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it came out fine. I wouldn't change much. Now this one, I'm going to show a preview. I'm going to show a little preview. This is new. This is brand new, and it'll be coming out soon. I just got to fix up something from the beginning. But this song will be coming out, and I'm actually pretty stoked about this one. I really like the chorus on this one. And Cam Shells did an amazing job with the verse. Oh, my God, dude. It hit hard, and it will show marks, and my body is weak. I don't think I'll go far. I don't know what to do Almost every sign of you Has me sent to escape mode I don't think I'm safe I need to escape Fuck you, I ain't taking your abuse You can pick love or hate It's up for you to choose Got me fucked up I don't know what to do Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got me thrown around And I'm fucked now yeah. Every single time they throw me around I lose faith in humanity I 
That's all I'm showing. That's all I'm showing. There's still a lot of fixes that has to be done. But now, we're going to look at the delete. Oh. I don't have any deleted projects anymore. I guess that's it. That's all I really got. We went through every song that I currently have that's not deleted. There's probably a few that are gone forever and will probably never come back. And it's probably for the better. But this was me critiquing my music. And basically just listening to it again, giving my thoughts, critiquing it, and just saying how I feel about it. So this video is going to be like me, like critiquing slash rating my music or critiquing rating and overlooking. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you did dislike, if you didn't, I don't really mind either way. That's all I got to say. So thanks for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Fuck this in life, I'm just too like Two eyes in the back of my head I'm watching everything you're doing Instead of being here with me Being here with me I gotta say shit twice So you know I ain't scared of it I can give a fuck about it